welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing my September favorites um I've never done one of these before so just bear with me but let's just get started to start off with beauty products first I am going to show you what I have been using for my face this is the L'Oreal true match and I'm sure you have heard of this already and have heard nothing but good things about this because I absolutely love this um I don't know it just works really well for me and I have like oily combination skin I guess you can say um I don't know this really is like my go-to foundation I have a handful of foundations but I always reach for this one just because it gets the job done and it's full coverage I think so yeah and I'm in the color nut brown so for concealer, I use a foundation, and this is by Mary Kay, and it's the medium coverage foundation in the color 400 Beige. I use this um, for mm -hmm. concealer and as highlight, just because, mm -hmm. I don't know, it just really, I'm going to show you. It is just amazing, and I feel like it really does the job. As you can see, it's a few um, shades lighter than my actual skin tone. And then it's like a really creamy consistency. And then once you rub it in, it just it just brightens like immediately. And I really, really love it. And it's not cakey at all. You can most likely build it if you needed to, but I don't need to. It's just really I think it's really full coverage. It says medium, but I get full coverage out of it, so I guess everyone's different. To set that concealer that I use, I use the um, L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder, and this is in the color Natural Beige. And I'm sure you guys have heard of this as well. Um, it kind of goes along with this. This is the Rough One Nearly Naked, and I just take this with me in my little makeup bag that I have here. And whenever I just need to touch up or I'm feeling oily or anything, I will just go ahead and grab this guy. You open it up and there's a mirror. And then here is the actual foundation. And then right here is, um, what are those called? Like a facial sponge, I guess, that comes with it. But I do not have it in there right now. But, yeah, I feel like it works really well for a, um... For a powder, I feel like it's pretty creamy, but I really, really, really like it, and it does set your makeup pretty well. So moving on to eyes, I have been absolutely obsessed with this mascara. It is, like, ridiculous. I have this, and this is the um, L'Oreal Telescopic, but it's the carbon black one. I am normally using just the, um, the regular one. But I decided I was going to try this one and I absolutely love it. I just feel like it has to be the darkest mascara ever. Another mascara I have been using is this Mega Impact Mascara by Wet n Wild. And I'll go ahead and show you the comb. So it's a pretty fat comb but you can see those bristles. And I feel like they really do get in there and make, I don't know. I just feel like it helps you get every lash, you know. It is pretty black, I would say, but um, it's definitely a little bit clumpy, but I don't mind clumpy lashes. I love clumpy lashes, so I definitely love this mascara. While we're still on the topic of eyes, I'm going to talk about this e.l.f. Precision Liquid Liner. I have been using this for... I don't even know. I feel like I've been using this for like a couple months now and I haven't had to replace it yet I still have some left in there um this is what I actually started doing my wing liner with I tried gel and I just could not do it so I was like I'm going just to try liquid liner and I have been doing my wings now for a few months and I feel like this little guy here has just been my savior I have a different elf um, eyeliner but it just doesn't get the job done as well as this one does I just absolutely love this and it's only like three dollars so can't really go wrong there 
This is the e.l.f. Custom Compact, and I got this from Target. It was only a dollar, and I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to get this. So when you open it up, it has this big mirror that I really like, and I'm surprised for only a dollar how big this mirror is. It was pretty cool, and I like it a lot. So when you open it, it's the mirror, and then it comes with this little um, applicator, that sponge applicator thing. And then while you're there, you pick out four eyeshadows, and they all come separately. So you pick out whichever ones you like, and I, I like that a lot, that you get to choose the ones that you like and the ones that will suit you best. I think that's pretty cool that they do that. And each eyeshadow was only a dollar, so you only pay like five dollars for this whole thing, and I really like that. And I plan on going back and picking out more. So I'll just go ahead and swatch the ones that I got for you. Um, if I can get them out. It's just like a Z palette. Um, it's magnetic. So this one here is in ivory. And it's just this white champagne-y color with some... Um, I don't know, it's like little specks of gold maybe. So there is that one. And I like to use that for either the lid area or maybe for a pop of color um, in the inner tear duct, you know, or to highlight your brow bone, anything like that. This one is in the color Moon Dust. And this is like a gold... A goldish brown color, I would say. So that is that one. And for only a dollar, I feel like these are really, really pigmented. And I absolutely love the brand e.l.f. I love it. I use their makeup brushes every single day. I just love it. This one is in the color Peach Fuzz. And this is the goldest one that I got. Right here. I figured I would get one that is fun and bright. So I got this one. And this is in the color teal. And this has little shimmers in it too. I feel like all of them do. They all have some shimmer in it. And I mean, look at that color payoff. I mean, that is absolutely amazing. And you can even use these wet if you really wanted to make them more intense. But I feel like they're intense enough for me. Um, I like to, I did get this um, ivory one wet. And oh my goodness gracious, it was amazing. It was like a really, really good highlight. So the last makeup item I have is this Smashbox Photo Op Makeup Palette. I use this every single day. I cannot get enough of this palette. It is just absolutely amazing. It has so many colors in it. I know mine is so dirty, but I've had it for a long time. Probably like three years now. And it has so many shades. And then here in the middle, it has some creamy eyeshadows and blush and just highlights and all that fun stuff. It has some lip gloss. Yes, it is extremely dirty, but it gets the job done, and I will continue to use this until all of it is gone. I am crazy about this. I'm pretty sure this was only limited time, but I don't know. I'm sure you could find it somewhere for a really ridiculous price, and Smashbox is already ridiculous, but if you can get your hands on this, I definitely recommend it because there is so many shades in here and you can do so many different things, especially if you're the type of person who is comfortable stepping out of their comfort zone. Um, I mean, I just feel like it it just gets the job done. I have used it like every, every single day for the past like two years. I didn't use it the first year just because I wasn't really into makeup, but I don't know. I got into it and I was just like... Hell yes, this is amazing, and I do not want any other palette but this. Well, now I do want other palettes, but... So I lied, and I found this guy just chilling, hiding away um, behind all of my other favorites, but I wanted to include this 
Milani lipstick in the color Sangria. Oh, this is what I have on my lips now. This is like perfect for fall and winter. So as you can see, it's pretty much the same. It might come off a little bit darker on my lips, but yes, it is amazing. It's like this. I don't know. I would say kind of a wine color, wine berry color. It's absolutely amazing. It's dark, and I feel like it's just going to be perfect for fall and winter. So I'm going to move on to some of my favorite hair products that I have been using recently. There's only two, but I absolutely love these. This bad boy right here. This is um, the Garnier Fructiste Style Brilliant Shine Glossing Spray in um, the Long Lasting High Shine Finish and is strong. This smells amazing. I'm going to spray some. <laughs> I forgot to spray some once my hair dried. Oh, I just cannot get enough of how good this smells. It smells absolutely incredible. It makes your hair, like, shine. And it makes it so glossy. And it makes it smell good. And then I love using it when my hair is straight. After I get done straightening it, I just love it. You can just run your fingers through your hair. And it is just amazing. Um, I don't even know how to describe the smell. I don't. I, I can't even try but if you have this in your um, drugstore I definitely recommend getting it I don't remember how much it was I think it was like under five bucks but I love this stuff and I'm going to continue to use this for a very long time until I find something better my other hair product that I have been loving is this um, bedhead wave artist and it's just a crimper and as you can, I'm going to unravel it. It has such a deep, like, barrel in it. And I've never seen anything like this. It's so deep inside there. And I actually really love this. Um, my sister uses it, and she has really long hair. And it looks amazing on her, her hair. I obviously have a little bit short of hair. Medium length, I guess you could say. And it looks good in my hair too so I feel like it's good I feel like it's good for all hair types and length of hair um, I don't know I just really like it and then over here is the um, the open and lock switch and then right here is a little light so you know when it's on and off and then over here it has a little a notch I guess you could say to do high or low temperature and I like how you can control that just so you're not damaging your hair like crazy but yeah. this is a Etsy nail polish that I have been loving it is in the color playdate and Etsy is normally really expensive but I picked this guy up on clearance for only four dollars which if you have ever picked if you have ever purchased an Essie um, nail polish, you know that they are pretty pricey, but this is just amazing. Let me, since I don't have my nails done, I'm just going to paint it on so you guys can see the color that I have been loving. Okay, ignore all the other nails. So this is the color, and I feel like it's just a really pretty lavender lilac color. It is just absolutely amazing, and I feel like this nail polish lasts a lot longer than most nail polishes. I don't know why, but this does last a very long time. I'm going to move on to some of my favorite scents that I have just absolutely been loving completely. Um, I will start off with some perfume. This is the Justin Bieber perfume, and oh my god, it's like amazing. I don't know what it is, but I just really, really like it. And no, it's not because he's my man, but it's just because it's amazing. Um, the only thing that I don't like is if you score more than like two to three squirts, you are like asking for a headache. I mean, this stuff is really, really strong, so I only use about one to two sprays if you do more than two sprays then good luck getting rid of that headache girl but I do I really love this and just smells so amazing they 
had a little, um, what's it called? Like a little dangly jewel thing, but I have no idea where it went when we were moving. I guess it fell off somewhere and... Oh, and this is by Yankee Candle and is in pink sands. Oh my gosh, you guys. I wish I could bathe in this. This gives me life, okay? It is absolutely amazing, okay? I don't even know how to explain this to you. I don't. Oh my god. I wish I could just like smell it. I don't know. It's like a lemonade scent, but it's not. I don't know how. It's not as sweet as that. It's like toned down lemonade, I guess. If you have this and you know like what it smells like, just let me know because I have the hardest time explaining what it smells like. It's just amazing and I plan on getting another one when this guy is gone because I just don't think I could live without it. It just smells so good and I don't know. I just feel like, I don't know. It's just really calming too. I mean, yeah. It doesn't give you a headache or anything like it's not too strong but it will like scent up your room so... I don't know, I just really, really love this. So the last thing that I have is this Febreze Air Effects, and it is in Fluffy Vanilla. And it just looks like this. And I spray this every single day in my room, and it smells so good. It literally smells like you are baking Christmas cookies in your bedroom. Or wherever you're spraying this. I mean, you can put this in the bathroom. People will think you are shitting out sugar cookies, okay? This smells so good. I just want to like... <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, it does. It really smells good. The only thing I don't like is that it doesn't really last that long, I don't think. But I don't know. I just really, really like this. And I just spray it all around my room and even on my pillows. And it just, it's maize beans. And I have picked this up from Big Lots. And I think it was on clearance. So, if you guys just go to Big Lots or the dollar store or somewhere like that that is pretty inexpensive, you will be amazed of what you can find. Like, I went to Kmart and I picked this guy up. And this was only $3 when it's normally like 12 or 13 I think. And I couldn't find it in my shade anywhere. And I wanted to try it so bad. And they had this little container and it was clearance. Everything inside of it was clearance, okay? I was like snooping around and I was like, what can I find? I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh. And I was like, there's no way it's going to be in my shade. It's going to be too light for me. I got my color for $3, okay? And this is in the color Soft Sable, and it was a perfect match for my skin tone, and I absolutely loved this, okay? It's so sad that it's gone. I'm so incredibly sad that it's gone, but I don't know. I guess I'm going to have to pay full price for it now, but... I really like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said before, this was my first favorite, and I hope more to come. But yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. This is a elf cob. <sighs> This is a e.l.f. custom com- com- uh, Try to say that five times fast. Okay, watch out my foundation if I need to. I will go in with this Revlon Nearly Naked um, powdered foundation and it just looks like this. It comes with a sponge that just fell on the floor.